How's it going, Verbal Traders? Robert H here. As many of you know, I recently had a baby, so I've been away from the room, been away from trading. It's been tough uh, trying to get some good sleep and just any consistency with my schedule. And when your life is not consistent, you're uh, sure as hell not going to be trading consistently, right? So things are a little more stable now. I'm going to try to be at, uh, at the screens at the open. I'm going to try to be more involved in the chat room. Many of you may have seen me there recently. Uh, that is me. That's not the ghost of Robert H. And I'm going to try to do more recaps for you guys, right? So anyways, uh, UNH, this thing was a gap up. And yesterday was interesting. The daily chart is very interesting, right? We had a big sell-off. Then they put in this inside white candle, kind of a bottoming tail. And with the gap up, I think a lot of people are looking to go long. And typically that's what I do, right? I like to trade with the gap, trade with the trend. Gap up, I'm going long. Gap down, I'm going short. Now, that's that rule is not written in stone though, right? Yeah, based on the price action, you should not have any bias. This is one thing Andrew's always taught us. Don't have any bias, right? Have, have an idea, but don't be set on anything. So when it opened up with the two minute red can like this, I said, okay, interesting. I'm going to take a two minute opening range breakdown. And I'm gonna put my stop here, which was two days ago high. And I'm gonna take profit at this 200 moving average, right? Two to one. So as you can see, uh, took it short, got the two to one. I was out of the trade in four minutes. Now, as, as I mentioned here, I used a range order, and this is one thing I'm gonna try to start doing, right? I'm just gonna start using range orders, try to optimize my day, uh, not have to sit here in front of the screens and babysit and partial and worry about this and that, right? I'm in with the range order, and whatever happens, happens. And fortunately, today it was done here, and I could step away and take care of personal matters, right? So that's a new thing I'm gonna try out. Now, one thing I want you guys to notice here, during this um, sell-off, it came down in waves, right? Came down in waves, consolidate, waves, consolidate. But look at all the levels it broke. This was an abnormal move, I think, right? It broke the 200 here. Broke the 200 here. Broke the 200 here, five minute chart. Broke the 20 here, the 50 here on the 30 minute chart. So all these levels were just crushed, right? No support. And look at this, look at this after this consolidation sell off here. Consolidated along the previous day close. As soon as it lost the previous day close, look at the volume pour in, right? That's uh, people having to stop out. Right? People averaging down, people who are wrong, they have to stop out. That's one side of the equation is people stopping out when people are wrong. Second side of the equation is people now taking the opposite position. People shorting, right? Bringing on the pain, piling in. This is what causes big moves. When one side is wrong and the other side sees that, they seize the opportunity and push the price, right? Um, that's basically what these breakout moves are, are all about, right? So anyways, uh, it's continued to sell off. People try catching these double bottoms. I think in the room, there's a little pullback here. It was a half decent move. But anytime there was a five minute high, right? Anyone trying to catch this uh, knife catching, they were getting burned. So five minute high, next candle, boom, breaks. It break. It broke down this uh, triangle, right? This shape here, breaks low of the day. Look at the volume kind of come in here. Another one here, so people trying to take that. Don't move five minute high, maybe that's a reversal. Boom, double the volume, you're wrong. Right, doji, no, you're wrong, right? As you can see, the volume really, really just started coming in. Um, coming in more and more and more and more. And then we get to this area here, a white candle. Okay, white candle, look at the size of the volume, it engulfed the, pr the prior one there, right? Next candle, another uh, reversal candle, I got a spinning top. This is where I walk by the screen, I was like, this is interesting, you know? Uh, we're putting in double reversal candles, and not only that, I took a look at the daily chart. We are at two days ago low, right? From price marker, right? DOS automatically adds that. So if the reversal is going to happen, it's going to happen at a level, not just some random point in space, right? So I thought to myself, okay, this is A1. I'm taking it long. Stop low of the day and uh, try to get a two to one on this, right? So that candle closes a white spinning top. As soon as the next uh, bar opened up, I took it on the break of the body. And I was in and out basically in, uh, I think, 11 minutes or something here, right? Got my two to one. Uh, and and that was that but I want you guys to take a look at this see how it came up tested the MA and that level this level here this level here is from the I believe yesterday low right it rejected it twice and that's that is enough uh, signal for me to say that that ain't getting to the view app right when you reject in levels and obviously the MA overhead resistance I don't think it's coming back however one thing I want you guys to, to notice as well here is when I was in this trade and I was kind of, I was walking in and out of the room, uh, don't want to, you know, stress over what the move was going to be. I'm either, I'm either going to be wrong, I'm going to be right, whatever the case, right? Two to one. But when those, this, this volume came in, this actually coincided with a new 30 minute high. And often you're going to see that sometimes a 15 minute high is, is a pretty good move, right? It'll pop up. But when you get that new 30 minute high, that trend, people on a longer time frame, uh, that trend to them is now, is now broken, right? So people have to stop out. And again, the longs, uh, the bulls took momentary control until the overhead resistance was just too much and then we went off we went back down right 
So I want you guys to look at this. This opening move, I caught whatever it was, two, three bucks. I missed uh, $15 the other way, right? And then on this reversal, I probably missed you know, an extra dollar or whatever. That's not a big deal to me. I'm not here to sit and um, optimize every single trade and try to squeeze every penny out of the trade, partialing and all this other stuff, right? I'm just trying to get my two to one so I can walk away and leaving money on the table, you know, that's fine with me, right? Because the whole point about uh, of, the, of why we trade is so we can enjoy other parts of life. And Andrew put that really well yesterday in his message, right? Fit trading into your life and not your life into trading. And this is one thing I'm gonna try to start doing. Just uh, be as quick as possible, uh, take as few trades as possible, and um, not have to stress over every minutia, micro movement. You know, I'm putting range orders, I'm stepping away, I'm taking care of things around the house. And uh, that's what it is. So anyways, um, I'm looking to, forward to get back into this. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the chat room tomorrow.